How you doing? This is Dave Johnson, Grill Beast. Today we're grilling up some grilled beastly meatballs. We're going to throw it in some sauce later and have some spaghetti. Now, what you need to start off with, it's going to be a total of three pounds of meat. You got a pound and a half of 80-20 beef. <coughs> then you have a pound and a half of mild Italian sausage. Now this can be in the casing or it can be just ground up. Um, if it's in the casing, you're going to have to take it out of the casing. All right, but that's easy enough. Okay, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You got two slightly beaten eggs. So you don't have to beat them up a lot. Four tablespoons of minced garlic. Two teaspoons of parsley, four teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, a cup of whole milk. Now, I have breadcrumbs here, but I'm not going to use that much. After I get all this mixed together, I'm going to put just enough breadcrumbs just to absorb the moisture. Because if you put too much breadcrumbs, it changes the texture of the meatball and you don't want to do that. All right, look, now you need to mix this up. You're not using a spoon or a fork. You're going to use your hand. You're a grill beast. Okay, so you just dig in. You, see, you want to make sure you get everything mixed in completely. And you see how it's kind of sloppy? It's supposed to be that way. So when you get done, you're going to put just enough breadcrumbs in just to take up that moisture. Okay, see how it's still got a little bit moisture in there, so most of it's all mixed in. So right now, you just take the breadcrumbs, just put a little bit at a time, okay? And just get it all mixed in. See, like when you're doing this, it's gonna feel really mushy. And when you get it to where, see it's almost sticky right there, but it's still just a little bit too wet. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more breadcrumb in. Now you can also make a meatloaf this way too. This is better than just a regular meat, uh, meatloaf if you do that. So that'll probably be just about it. Yeah, we'll work with that. Let me get some of this stuff cleaned off my hands. And then I'll show you how we make up the meatballs. So once you get everything mixed in really good, what I do, and you do your balls any way you want, but the beastly balls are a quarter cup. So I just do a scoop, just about a quarter cup. Take it out. I don't try to make it a perfectly round ball. That's just, to me, it's a waste of time. When you just shake it around a little bit, it's a nice ball. I'm just throwing it on here. And before we take it out to the grill, just so to have it resting on something. Okay, see, it's nice and easy. See how big they are? You're gonna get a lot out of this. All right, so we got them all done. This is what we make here. We make beastly balls. We don't make little bitch balls. So, I already got the grill all set up. And for this, I'll, I have a two zone cooking area. Um, and I'm gonna put the meatballs over the section that does not have the coals, okay? Okay, yeah, that's it. We're gonna let these cook probably about 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to take them off. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. It's been a good 30 minutes. There's not gonna be an exact time because it depends on what size uh, your balls are. And if you made good beastly balls and not bitch balls, it's gonna take a good half an hour. So you also want your grill to be between 350, 400 degrees. Like I said, I already checked these. They are perfect. So, we're gonna take these off. Oh, the other thing, you wanna make sure you clean your cookie sheet or whatever. You don't wanna put this, your cooked meat on something raw meat was on. Oops, tore that one apart. Mm -hmm. 
So when I get these inside, I'm going to put them in a pot of sauce and let them cook in the sauce for a couple hours. And they can absorb um, the tomato flavor into the uh, meatball. So this one got stuck because it got stuck in my S. So look, that's it. So that's how you make grilled beast beast balls. If you like this video, be sure to like it, share it, comment below, ask a question if you have one. And that's it. Grill on.